YouTube, it's been a while. I haven't opened a garbage bag enough. We're gonna do it now. Yes! Yes, this is what I thought it was the last time. <laughs> Four wheel drive, 112th scale. Oh yeah, storm off road. 112th off road racing series. This is by XK. XK never really fails to live up to my expectations, which is funny because of the Chinese brands, um, and, and I think of Chinese brands as inferior, even though I probably shouldn't because like, hmm, let me think about this. <laughs> All of these things are Chinese. This is, I, this actually might not be Chinese. That might be Malaysia. Oh, now you have to look. Yeah, this is made in Malaysia, folks. See, look, made in Malaysia. That's when you know it's moving good. moving up in the world. China, 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 China. They're all China. So for those of you who want to support American companies, there's gonna have to be a few that like actually do business. So, but that's okay because XK does a really nice job of the, they go somewhere between the hobby grade, uh, oh, hobby grade toy grade range but they have some of the really good stuff too. And that's what this is gonna be. And I am excited for it. Oh, wow, look at this. It comes with things. Look oh. at that, it comes with things. It comes with a tool and it comes with a USB charger. It looks like it goes 2000 milliamp hours, uh, 7.4, which would be a 2S. It's got a nice little not color manual, which is okay. I don't really care, like I'm gonna read it anyway. And as you can see, we've got a box that has been taped from the side, looks like the car is in there. Of course, there's a battery installed in it. That's one of the, uh, it's kind of like a legal thing. So you have to cut this tape. That allows you to fold these tabs up and then you can rip it out anyway. Oh, and that's where your transmitter is. So it's got a spare tire, just kidding guys. Not a spare tire. And it looks like the car comes in. That's actually well packaged, that's not too bad. The box is in really decent shape. It didn't get beat up a lot. Some of these things get destroyed coming from China. But this one seems like it's done well. Of course, we got a lipo in here, right there. Wait, is that a lipo? It looks like it's round. That might not be a lipo. Maybe it's not a lipo, which would be okay. I don't really care what. Whoa, is that a NICAD? Are you kidding me? That is so crazy. That's a 1500 milliamp at 7.4, but that's that, I don't think that's a lipo because they're round. Well, anyway, I don't care. If it's not a lipo, I'll just put a lipo in it. Um, okay, we got squishy tires. That's always good. Got nice texture. Of course, the thing is zip tied, so I have to get some side cutters. Or actually, why don't we do it this way? Because a lot of you guys that are watching this might not have side cutters handy. So I'll just come in here and Cut the zip ties just to show you. It's a little bit harder to cut zip ties than it is to uh, just undo twisty ties. But it looks like everything is in decent shape. Now this thing has LEDs on it too, which is awesome. So these things light up. I'm excited for that. This is a true four wheel drive, which is really awesome. Wow, look at that guys. Got the differential in the back, got the differential. Oh wow, this is awesome. Look at this differential up front, differential in the back. That is so cool. Huge throw on those struts. Man, that's really nice. Independent suspension in the back and the front. Obviously this thing is gonna do great. Didn't feel like those struts were maybe into getting dropped like that on such a hard surface, but typically the ground is not gonna be quite as hard as granite. Um, metal on the bottom, but then it's plastic here. That's a little bit disappointing. These things are all plastic, but then the drive shaft is metal, which is nice. Look at this clutch here. That is so cool. I can't believe they have a clutch in that. I think it's a clutch, like a breakaway maybe. See, there's that spring in there. I'm almost certain that's some sort of a clutch. And then this thing can go in and out. So it makes up the difference and change when you go up and down. Really excited to see this thing drive. It looks like it's super easy to load the battery in too, because there's not there's just cover over the electronics where the receiver is, but then look where the battery goes. It's just right yeah. there. 
that's like one of my biggest issues with most of these cars. Mm -hmm. And especially because my son ends up driving them. For me, maybe it wouldn't be such a big deal. But when you have kids, when you get these things for kids, because I mean, obviously cars are a little bit safer back with kids. Um, this car is supposed to be age 14 plus, And that's probably about right because honestly, these things can, they go fast. And they're incredibly powerful. But when you have to take off the top of a car mm -hmm. to put in a battery, it's a real pain, even when you're an adult. Did I? Oh, there it is. See, because you've got like these little clips and look how small that is. So that's a little bit of a pain in the neck. Okay, let's see how this charger sets up. Okay, let's get into the manual. We'll get that started. Just show you how it works and then we'll go ahead and put it on a proper charger. Okay. All right, so we've got this thing here. Yeah, it doesn't say, it doesn't say it's a LiPo. But it does say 2,000 milliamp hours. This, of course, is a 1,500 milliamp hour. Technically, this should charge, though, because it's got a balance charger. Of course, you can't plug it in the wall. This is USB. So I'll just plug it into this power supply. It has a USB port, which is 5 volts at 1 amp. So we'll just plug that in there. Of course, it's going to receive voltage at 5 volts, 0.5 amps through 2.5 amps. Do you see a little solid flash or a little flashing red light? Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. Okay, so it's charging now. So before we get too far, let's go ahead and plug it into the uh, battery checker. We'll just slide that in there. Okay, so it's shipped at uh, 3.8 volts per cell. That's really good. Is it possible this is actually a LiPo and it's just got a different shape pack to it? That is really weird if it is. I don't think this is a LiPo, guys. So not that it makes a big difference for me. My issue is that when I go to charge it, I'm not sure if it's a NICAD. And if I don't know for sure what it is, then it's kind of hard to set up one of my better chargers. So we can just go ahead and let that charge for a minute. And this has a Dean's connector or a T style connector. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a bunch of IC3 connections here. And then I have a million different styles of connectors here. And then it looks like we have one right here. Okay, so that goes Dean's to XT60. And then of course, once I get to XT60, then I can go to whatever I need to. So we'll just whip out the drawer full of a few more adapters. Oh yeah, we'll be able to do this. No problem, no problemo. Everybody has a drawer full of adapters in their kitchen. Yeah, of course they do. That's what people like me have in their kitchen. <laughs> if you have these things in your kitchen, you know you've arrived as an adult. <laughs> Doesn't hold true for your wife, does it? That's right. That's not what I was after. Okay, so let's see what happens when we try to plug this in real quick. This is like the unboxing pause. Okay, so just verify your polarity whenever you're plugging in an adapter that's an adapter in an adapter. 7.6 volts there. So we'll go ahead and plug in the balance charge lead. Okay, so let's see what happens. So it doesn't say anything wrong so far. So I don't want to charge at 2.2 volts or 2.2 amps rather. I want to actually charge this at 1.5 amps. And it says LiPo, but I'm 99% sure this is a NICAD. Well, I don't know. I suppose it's in the manual. Let's check the manual before we catch it on fire. <laughs> or I box. just assumed it was going to be a lipo, guys. I'm sorry. It's uh, it seems like that would be pretty self-explanatory anymore because everything is pretty much lipos. So I'm going to just break out the manual real quick here. Whoa! Look at this. Cautions when handling batteries. Do not operate models on public roads in crowded places or near infants. <laughs> it may cause accident or injury. Okay. They have some great pictures. They do. They're actually, they're better than usual. See, XK kind of borders on English. You know, sometimes they do pretty yeah. good English. This looks like it might be a pretty well thought out manual. Okay. Use double, double A non-rechargeable or double A rechargeable. Okay. So why, 
So that use double A. No, in the transfer. Oh, look, here it is. That's a lithium battery. It's a lithium, not a lithium polymer. That's so weird. Okay, so can you charge that on a good charger? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Shoot, look, there's round. See? Yep. Charging time, no more than three hours. Are you kidding me? Sorry, no, not happening. We're gonna charge it safely Open off camera. It before your kid gets it and charge the battery or they'll be sad. Yeah, they will be very sad. Look at this guy's exploded view diagrams. Are you kidding me? Jeez. That is awesome. It even shows you how to take apart the servos. That's sweet. Well, the servo mount basically. Look, this is like the servo buffer. It's like a little, um, Basically, it's a servo saver, so when the servo linkage moves, it can slip a little bit before it breaks inside, which is pretty awesome. Look, there's a sponge in there, you know? Sponges help with other things, too. Yep. So, man, this is like the most robust manual I've ever seen in radio controlled. It shows every piece. This is awesome. This reminds me back in the day. Look, pictures of each component. I can't even buy them. Are you kidding me? So it says sale parts few. Is that what that means? Sale parts few. Okay. Well, hey, if they say you can buy it, then somebody sells it somewhere. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and break open this box and then... Wait, do you want to start your battery charging? Yeah, we should start the battery charging. Now that we know that it's a lithium battery. Sorry, it's already opened. Wow, look at that fancy trigger style. We got the, um, looks like the... ST trim and then the throttle, so steering trim and then throttle trim, okay. Looks pretty simple. It looks like mode one, two, three, four, on off. Got a nice little carrying handle. If you have extremely small hands, that'll work perfectly for you. Uh, speed car remote control power is, I think that was an IS. Okay, it looks like four double A's. And yeah, so we'll get four double A's, we'll get the battery charging, and we'll give you a report as to whether or not it caught on fire. Okay guys, so we got the uh, world's cheapest uh, batteries here and we're gonna slide those in and get this thing ready to go. Uh, I cannot talk about the way we're charging that battery because I'm not 100% sure I'm doing it right, but it's safe. Rest <laughs> assured, rest <laughs> assured. It's totally safe. Just can't tell you. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. That's right. So right now, the 1500 milliamp hour pack is charging. This thing is gonna be awesome and I can't wait to drive it, but I am going to have to wait for it to charge. In fact, let's go ahead and check the battery on the shall not be mentioned we'll, charging method. We'll uh, stay over here. It's at 90% charged, so we're just gonna... <laughs> Call um, it good. We're just gonna check and see how much charge it's actually got. Typically a LiPo, okay, it's 71%. That's what they're saying right now. So we're at 3.9. So it's gonna be a little bit to charge this thing. But uh, what I would say is, I mean, I've got many a 1500 milliamp 2S packs, which would be just fine. Do you I believe. have adapters? I do. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna plug this in and see if we can get everything running and then we'll charge it after we see how awesome it is, which is, I know it's sort of cheating guys, but I can't wait for this. It's too awesome. It's too dang awesome. Okay, so it's plugged in. Gotta turn this on. Is there a power switch? On the bottom, yes. There's like a red button somewhere. Oh yes. Look at the LEDs, that is so cool. Oh yes, look how far it turns, that's awesome. This thing is gonna be so good. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna strap this battery in like so, so that the battery connector is protected. This thing goes in, it's got kind of a wishbone on the front. And then we'll just drop that down on the back. And just slide that through. These cars are so much simpler than airplanes. And yet, okay, so this tool it's a nut driver, it's got different sizes. And so if you need to replace parts, you can use it to take it apart. I don't think uh, it's gonna be really that hard to, oh, look at that, you can extend your extremely microscopic screwdriver here, which is always handy. So I think it's time, I think it's time to test it. Are you ready to test it outside? Sure. Okay, let's do it. 
All right, YouTube, we're gonna drive this thing right now. Please forgive me, I didn't charge the battery all the way. I'm just too excited. I wanna see it go. Okay, so first things first, it's four wheel drive. I wanna see how slow it'll go. As you can see, it's got full proportional controls, which is very important if you're trying to drive a radio controlled car, airplane or the like. Proportional controls, meaning that you can turn a little bit and it goes a little bit. You can give it a little bit of throttle and it goes a little bit, you can go backward and you can go slow because if you can only go fast, that's fun for a little bit, but if you wanna go slow, you wanna be able to go slow. Let's see, let's see if it'll crawl a little bit before we get too fast because usually speed is speed kills. Just ask the, uh, ask the police officer when they stop you. Officer, what's wrong? I thought I was going the speed limit. I guess I, I guess I missed that sign. Okay, so it's not the fastest ever. Oh, it flips over nice. Did you see it pick up on its back wheels yeah. there? The brakes work nicely on it. Very easy to control, it goes straight. Feels pretty rock solid actually. Let's come over here. On smooth concrete, it spins out nicely, which means we probably have a little bit more power going to the back wheels, which is awesome. Boy, it goes. Yeah, I was gonna say, not it's slow. No, it's definitely not s slow, but it's controllable, which is really nice. Some of these cars, they just get so unwieldy, you know? And this thing stays on the ground because it's just heavy enough. And I'm not having trouble at all controlling it. The reverse is a little bit hokey to get going there, but it's not any worse or better than what I've seen on other cars. The lights are not as bright as I was hoping they'd be, but the, you can definitely see them. All right, let's go over here. So we've got some hills and things, so we can try going down a hill. Our grass is not exceptionally short right now, as you can tell, but this thing has no problems at all getting through it, which is awesome. Usually you have a lot of problems getting through thick stuff like this. Should we show them through the really thick stuff here? Oh, it got stuck almost that's, immediately. That's like... That's way thick. That's like a field. That's like I would grass. be amazed if it made it through there. Well, I could probably, I could probably fight it out of there. Except yeah. you don't have that much battery. Yeah, I don't want to waste the battery getting out. But it's definitely fine right there. It's gonna be fine. That's a nasty yard. spot on the hill too, because we transitioned from. Boy, that's twice now. It's flipped right over, yeah. which is really nice. There's a little bit of dirt back there. Let's go back here and see what it does on the hills. So just trying to see how controllable it is over the hills. It's very nice and easy to control. All right, let's go across the threshold onto the concrete. Oh yeah, it does really nice. It wants to fall on its feet, which is really nice. See how strong it is, guys? It's doing great. It's just, it almost feels indestructible. Okay, first time it flipped over and didn't go back. So camera crew, is it easier to film a car or an airplane? Oh, a car. <laughs> that was a dumb question. Yeah. I was just gonna say, hey, I could fly this. <laughs> Jeez. All right, okay, so we're gonna try to jump it off of this hill and we'll see what kind of a, uh, you're right where I'm going there, camera crew. Ooh, let's go on the rocks. We'll go on the rocks here. I'm gonna go kind of slow, I don't wanna get stuck. Oh, it does perfect. You are literally right where I needed I know. to be. Where are you going? I'm going to, to jump off of the hill. All right, here we go. You ready? Oh, well, that was an awkward way to crash. Oh. This hill is pretty steep. So we'll see if it can make it up there at speed. Oh, almost. Did it flip? That's on, you're on the other side. Okay. It almost tipped. 
I couldn't see it because I was on the other side yeah. of the hill. Man, it throws stuff everywhere when it when you give it throttle, which is awesome. So it's pretty sandy out here and the grass is shorter. Mostly because it doesn't exist. Those lights look sweet in the the lights look really nice in the shade here. Yeah, you can see them a lot better back here. It does good on these slopes too. Oh yeah. You want to give them a shot from the side there, camera crew? I figured out evidently how to start tipping it over. Yeah. It seems like it's going to do all right though. So for those of you who don't know this, I kind of got my start in radio controlled, hobby grade radio controlled with an RC10. And this is years ago. And I love my RC10. And I probably had, this is back in early 2000s, excuse me, the 1990s actually, yeah, would have been mid 1990s. We had like $800 in that thing. That's a lot of money in the 90s. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was a lot of money. It was a lot of money now, but it was a lot of money then. And we had like variable speed controls, which was a big thing back then. We could go in reverse. That was a big thing back then. Man, this thing just does great on the off-road. Yeah. If you guys are driving this on a course, it's going to do really good. It is not smooth back here. No, all. it's not at all. Trust me, I mow it. It's not <laughs> smooth. It's not. Yes. Yes. Okay, so do we need to take them down by the creek? Let's do that. Let's walk, let's walk the radio controlled car like we do the airplanes. Get over here, boy. Come on. Let's go across the rocks for the people. Obviously the rocks are not, not even a question here. And look how sharp you can turn. This is really nice. You cannot do that with most radio controlled cars. I don't know why they don't make them turn wider. I think it's just because the servos don't have enough displacement there. We'll go by the chicken. Hi chicken. Let's go down by the tree. There's a nice big rut I'm running through right there. And yes, I'm kind of trying to take it easy. Man, it just tears it up. I love this. It's so much fun. It's like when you go on a walk with the kids, they're always like seven steps ahead of you. <laughs> Running into things. Yes. Flipping over. Getting stuck in the weeds. Oh no! Okay, let's show them in the off-road. Oh, yes. So we'll go by the creek here. We'll go across the bridge. Oh, yes. So cool. This would make a little nice little racetrack over here, camera crew. Yeah, Except I, cool. I can't see good enough to go through there. You're right in the middle of the driveway. Uh-oh. What was that? Did I get a stick? I picked stick. up a stick. I've acquired a stick, folks. That's the first time I've been stopped by my surroundings. There That's we go. Big stick, too. Yeah, no kidding. It's doing really good in this tall grass. I can't believe yeah. how well it's doing. Uh oh, or I guess that, that must be the low voltage warning. <laughs> or cut off. Well, it's nice because it tells you when it's low because it flashes the lights. Um, that was decent, decent drive time given I only had it charged to 70%. That was like maybe, I don't remember exactly where we were on the video, but maybe 10-ish minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes is pretty good. I'm guessing we probably could have got closer. Well, if you're on a track, you're probably gonna get about 15 minutes, I'm guessing. But the thing is, what I want to do is I want to charge it 
and see if we could get one more drive in. So we'll go ahead and pause the video and we'll do this one more time. There you go. So as you can see, I discharged this to 6.1 volts and that's where it stopped discharging for us. So I don't believe typically on a lithium polymer pack, you're not gonna get it that low. And so I would suggest that uh, you charge it all the way before you start running it like that. But just a real quick test, we'll see if this thing starts charging when I go ahead and plug in the provided charger. It's a little bit hot right now, so it would be better to not charge when it's warm, but just for the sake of understanding how things are going to operate when you get this thing out of the box. Yeah, so it goes to solid, so it is gonna go ahead and charge. Thing that's nice about this type of charger, guys, is if you're getting this for your kids, um, you, you still need to keep an eye on them, but you don't have maybe quite as much they can screw up like with a LiPo. Uh, especially a soft pack lipo like this 2200 milliamp you can kind of see it's square and if you were to cut this film off which you shouldn't because it's kind of dangerous then you would find that there's a bunch of thin layers of paper separated by the lithium and it's contained in almost looks like aluminum foil and that difference between those two pieces of lithium the paper separates it and it makes a capacitance which is like a battery okay and that's how you get these packs. And so basically there's two of those in series and that's what makes a 2S pack, two cells in series. This happens to be two round cells, which is why I thought it was a NICAD. Um, but just because it's round doesn't mean it's not lithium. It just, uh, this happens to be lithium, but it's not lithium polymer. It's just a lithium pack. Not sure which type of lithium it is though. And that was where I was running into problems earlier. Um, so if you have this provided charger, just let it charge. And what we might do, just because I want you to, I know you're already thinking it, is I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to get down to my Dean's connector um, from the IC3 on this pack, because let's see if this thing will fit. This is a 2200, uh, that's 3S. We would have to find a 2S, unfortunately, because 3S is probably gonna kill it. Yeah. Because that's going to be too much power. So we'll pause it and we'll see if we can find another pack that we could run it on to. Okay. okay, so I got a 1300 milliamp 2S 30C Admiral pack here. Uh, it's seen better days, but I got it charged up to full capacity and I've got a little voltage alarm here. Um, this is going to just give us an idea of what to expect for power out of this with a LiPo. Uh, 2S LiPo still, so we're gonna get real similar voltage, so we should be okay, shouldn't damage anything. Um, so we're gonna use this. Then I have a 2200 2S as well. That's a 60C pack, but it's also seen better days. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try with this first, and this little voltage alarm will just beep when we run out of battery. Oh, I gotta turn my transmitter on here. Okay, it's always a good idea to have the transmitter on first. Okay. Everything is connected. And I didn't have to do any binding at all, nothing like that. Uh, it just basically came out of the box working, which is really nice. Um, of course, in the airplane world, we don't always get that lucky. I don't know if you guys realize this, but on my channel, I, I review airplanes mostly. And then occasionally we'll do cars, which are really fun too. But I would fancy myself more of an airplane aficionado and less of a car aficionado. So that fit pretty good. 1300 2S was just fine. Uh, looks like the 2200 2S is also gonna be probably getting done pretty quick. So we'll just see how this goes and then we'll come right back for it. So we're on 2S LiPo this time. We'll see. Oh, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more crazy. Good brakes. But as you can see, we're kind of loading the pack. A 2200 would probably be complaining less. And like I said, this pack has seen better days. So I sort of hate to use this as a great representation of what a LiPo could do. Also, I think we need to take this and we need to go up front and do some crawling with it. 
We have a battery we can take with us. A 2200? In case this one. Look at this. I love that it stands up like that every time. Yeah, we could, we could probably get the 2200. That one doesn't sound super thrilled with us. The voltage alarm? Yeah. Well, it's not an airplane. I could change the alarm point. So the alarm on this thing is probably set to alarm at 3.6. We'll set it to like 3.3. That means it won't alarm every time we give it high throttle. So do you want us to bring the other battery when we go out to the front? Maybe, I'm gonna have to walk all the way back up here. Okay. 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 So we'll throw this in our pocket, which is kind of a recipe for disaster because this is an old lipo that was involved in many crashes. So, yes. Oh, sorry, we're not supposed to use batteries well, that were involved in crashes. Well loved. Battery. It was well loved and safely Why disposed of. Wait, no, we didn't do that last part. <laughs> this guy can't drive on the pavement. That's like cheating. It does so good in the tall grass, I just can't believe how well it does. This is not smooth. So now over here, we've got a pretty decent hill. And then we're going to actually go right out by the road. We've got some pretty rough areas here. It obviously can handle it. It just does great. Those LEDs are looking increasingly awesome, by the way. Yeah, it was super bright when we started. Okay, so we're gonna drive down this hill. This is the spot that my mower loves to kill. <laughs> Do you wanna go down there? Uh, no. Why? Because I am not wearing proper climbing attire. Let's see if we can get up this hill. That's pretty steep stuff right there. Oh, there's a tree stump. Should we try the tree stump here? We'll go right up on it. Oh yes. Not even thinking about problems here. Look at this. Let's see how steep we can do this. Ooh, cheating. Need to carry a little bit more sp speed to get up over that. See, and that's the thing is I could cheat and just power it up the hill, except my camera crew is like standing in the way. Oh, get out of there. Don't be getting stuck in the ruts. You gotta remember these ruts are real life ruts, not just radio controlled ruts. <laughs> See, it'll, it'll, it'll power through just about whatever you put it up against, but I wanna see it do it slow. Oh yeah, there we are. Got it. Nice. Okay, let's go down slowly. Whoa. We gotta do a controlled descent. Controlled descent is the key. Nice, using the brakes to slow me down. Awesome. Let's go around this tree. Uh-oh, we got a stump. We got a stump in our lives. Whoa, that was nasty, whatever it was. That is so cool. Remember, we changed the alarm to 3.3. Nice. I want to see if I can go on the side here. You know what? Let's see how it backs up. Oh, it's already <laughs> dug in like instantly. <laughs> so this thing keeps beeping at us. Look how steep that is, guys. Yeah. Let's yeah, it dug in right away there. It's pretty soft. That's on the yeah. Side too. Ooh, we could just drive it. Do you want to just drive it off that cliff and see what how it does? Should we do it? Off the cliff? Yeah. Not at full speed probably. Should we just drive it here? Are you going to go get it? I don't know. Maybe. I'm not. Okay, so what I what you're saying is I got to do it. Then you gotta go get it. Oh yeah, buddy, that was awesome. I don't even know I got that. I wasn't prepared. What, you didn't film it? I don't know, I was filming, but I don't know if I got it. I was watching. Okay, well, I'm just rock crawling along here. I don't wanna like screw anything up here. Those lights make it so easy to see through the foliage when I'm 
yeah. when I'm trying to see it from a distance. Okay, here we go. Let's come back up. That was pretty stinking cool, so I got to do it again. It's got a bit of a slow start on the reverse, which is good for success rate. See, guys, let's just see. Did we break it yet? I don't think we broke it yet, which is pretty awesome. Usually we've broken cars by now. Mm -hmm. We're not really nice. You haven't let the kid drive it. Oh, yeah. that's true. I should be careful not to break it yet because he'll want to drive this. <laughs> he usually breaks them though. It's really a pretty easy to drive car. You want to drive it, camera crew? No, or, well, I'm holding all this stuff, but. Look at those lights. That's so cool. The when lights they... are cool. All right, we got to do that again. I want to do that again. That was, that was really cool. Okay, I'll pay attention this time. Are you going to actually point the camera at I'll it this try. time? I'll watch the camera. So okay, so I got to go fast so I can get up over the crown of the road here. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Torture test time. All right, pause it. <laughs> okay. The only casualty was the voltage alarm came off. So I just got to plug that back in and then we're ready to rock and roll. Yep. It says, Brian, you stuck. <laughs> Are the LEDs still on? Huh? Oh yeah, I can see them now. Oh yeah. Everything's running. Oh, it's totally, it's doing it all. It's doing it all still. All right, come down here, camera crew. Ooh, broken glass, that's always fun. There's all sorts of good things down here in the ditch. You're supposed, to, you're trying to talk me into it, not out of it. Well, no, I mean, there's not broken glass. I was lying just then. I think we could do another couple shots down here. Why don't you come down? Ah, okay. All right, so we're gonna pick up our walk from earlier and we just wanna see how ridiculous See, look at all these scalp spots from the moron who mows this place. Oh wait, that's me. He does a terrible job. He does a terrible job of mowing over these trees. <laughs> they're, look how huge they are, guys. I mean, I can't go over it without falling out of the chair in the lawnmower, so this thing goes right over them. This is incredible. I mean, I've had a lot of radio controlled cars and I've had a few pretty nice ones. Um, and this thing is doing great, really good. I'm super impressed and the lights are coming into their own now. See how dark it is here in the in this little jungle area? You can see the lights as the grass gets lit up. That is so cool. What do you think of that camera crew? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ooh, let's see if the bats are coming out. Uh, let's hope not. Nope, I don't see any bats. Do you see any bats up there? I don't see any bats. Oh man, that's too bad. We put up bat houses so that they would eat many mosquitoes. Look at this, this giant. That is so good. This thing is awesome. I can't believe how good it does. But it's not like so slow that it's boring. And sometimes with the rock crawlers, they just, you know, they're slow. Like this thing, this thing will drive over the stuff and it's fun to drive. Have we finally hit, hit the low voltage warning? <laughs> Or am I just finally driving I, enough? I thought you were just ignoring that. Oh, I am basically doing that. I really value this lipo. I value this lipo. I do value my toes though. Well, maybe if you step back once, I wouldn't hit them. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Are you okay? Yes. I didn't actually do that on purpose. <laughs> Even though it would appear by all measures that I did. <laughs> I did not do it on purpose. I can't anticipate your driving as well as I can anticipate your flying. You mean because airplanes go in a straight direction? Yeah, you're a little erratic. Let's go over this rock, rock crawling. I don't think that's what they had in mind. You guys see that rock? It's like the smoothest, biggest rock. There's another smooth, big rock here. That thing is huge. I want all those rocks. Well, we can dig them out with an excavator someday when we get one from Banggood. <laughs> in case you guys weren't wondering, the stuff from Banggood has been taking a little longer than usual lately. And I don't, I don't really like it any better than you guys <laughs> because I've got about six things coming right now. And it's been a little bit annoying, but I'm trying to be giving them a little bit extra grace given the Corona stuff going on. They got hit kind of hard by that. So now here it is. I think we're finally there. What do you think? 
Maybe. That's a 1300 milliamp 2S Admiral. That's pretty, that was, that was nice pretty good. Battery, no, oh, I mean, that's, that's like an good. old beat up deadly one. Yeah. Okay. Hold the radio camera crew. This thing has done really good. Yeah. So we're at 3.52, 3.56, but under load, can you pull the trigger? I cannot. Here, we'll just show the people. So it's actually not that horrible. Um, of course, static load is gonna be a lot different than a dynamic load when we're actually running it and moving the car. Right. But I would say that a LiPo does this thing just fine. There's no problems at all. The 2200, I can't imagine it being a, a whole lot different, but just for size comparison, let's go ahead and try to throw it in there. Um, I can't promise we're gonna drive that one until it's empty, just because my camera crew might mutiny on me. The mosquitoes might attack us first. Well, the mosquitoes have not been that bad. Shh, don't say that. I know, I shouldn't. Okay, so I just use this XT60 to Dean's adapter because I happen to have XT60s. These, these soft packs, they get a little spongy sometimes. Yeah, I'm thinking this one probably won't be a good one to put in my pocket because it's a little bit on the toasty side too. Mm. We should Let's go put it over by I the can... propane tank. Just kidding, guys. I Just... can hold it when oh. we're... Okay. Yeah. Here you go, camera crew. That is a little warm. It's a little toasty. I would not put it in your pocket. Okay, so this is a 2200. This is a Turnigy, a Turnigy heavy duty. It's been beat to death and crashed literally from airplanes. I cannot get, I cannot get it in there mm -mm. to where it'll snap down with the, uh, with the clip. So I would say somewhere between 13 and 1500 milliamp hours is where you need to be. But we're still gonna drive it just to see if we have any issues. I doubt we will. It should be quite a bit better actually. And if you had a brand new smart pack, this thing would be awesome. Granted, you'll have to have an adapter from, you know, to Dean's or you'll have to put on an IC3 or an EC3 or whatever. Probably just an EC3 because it's not a smart ESC, it won't matter. Okay, so you can see that it's at uh, 8.33 volts. Can I ask a really stupid question? As long as it's extra stupid. <laughs> the tire that's on the back, the like spare tire, is that an actual real tire if you would damage one of the tires? Actually, that's a great question and I believe it is. Okay. Yeah, I think it is an actual spare tire. Oh yeah, she's, she's doing just fine. That's a tree right there. I don't want to run it over. Yeah, don't run over that tree. I don't think this battery is going to be quite as forgiving for us since it's so big, but it's still pretty awesome. I can't believe how well this is done. Do I have to think of an extra stupid question now since that one wasn't? No, that was <laughs> fine. That was actually a pretty decent question, I thought. Well, we'll just walk this thing back up and we'll think about our final thoughts. And then when we get up on the pavement, we can do a speed test. Look how cool those lights are. Yeah, Look the at lights that. are cool now that it's getting dark. That is really cool. I love seeing that beam of light through the grass. You notice the toe out on this? Hun, did you notice the toe? I'm supposed to have your toes out, that's gross. Well, if this was toe in. That would be a problem. I don't know if it'd be a problem or not. So? No, I just noticed that it was toe out quite a bit. I'm hearing a little grinding, but I noticed that when we first opened it. Oh. There's about 50% throttle there. Let's see how fast we can go. Okay, are you good? Yeah. No beeping. It's not horrible. I mean, it's not the fastest car we've got by any stretch. Ooh, am I out of range? Ooh. Let's see. I'm just holding the reverse here. Yeah, there, so we're out of range there. So you guys can see the range. What would you call that, about 100 feet? Yeah, probably about. I could probably trim that out because right now it's kind of wanting to just go to one side or the other. This is how you do that. There's an ST trim. And so you just basically, while you're driving, you just adjust it until it kind of goes straight. And then you should be good to go. 
obviously, since I did such a good job. Mm -hmm. I'm tell. Hey, Let's try it again. Let's try it again. So you got to remember inside there, there's also that anti-crash device. That is so cool. I just can't believe how capable this car is. I don't want to lose the battery out of the back is the only thing I got to be a little bit careful about this. Yeah. Since it's ne technically not strapped in. I could throw a piece of Velcro on there and it'd be okay. It gets up and goes. All right, camera crew, this is like longer than we've ever filmed a car. <laughs> I know. On the entire history cool. of the channel. You sure you don't want to drive it for a second? Well, I'll drive it back up to the house. Okay, but all right. But you're gonna, I don't, we're gonna have to switch a roo or something. Really? Well. How about this? You take my mic too. I'm gonna take your mic too. I'm just gonna take that and clip it. Okay. All right, guys. You get some horrible camera action with the camera crew. Wait, I got your battery still. So. That's okay. Just stick it in your pocket. It should be cool. Camera crew. Oh, jeez. <laughs> she knew I would do that. Can you do it, camera crew? Well, I can. We'll just drive it. It's not that hard, is it? No, I can drive a car. Can I'm a you? Good driver, for a girl. You make it sound like it's so easy. Hey, let's Hold keep on. it on the road. It's only ten feet oh. wide. <laughs> well, let's keep it on the road. I can't. That I can't do. We'll try to drive it toward us without killing us. Oh, geez. Wait, I don't know which way I'm hey, going. Hey, hey, don't don't <laughs> crash. Don't crash because that battery's loose. Remember, oh. that's a high quality oh. battery. No, that battery not. was expensive. No, it's no, it wasn't. Well, I can't drive toward me. I don't know which way I'm Come going. on, you're making me look like I actually know what I'm doing. Come on. Well, we lost a grill <laughs> on one of our lights already. We did? Yeah. To our, to our oh, grill. no! <laughs> Could that have been when we crashed Kareen down, down from, the the, uh, from the hill? That is, I call that, I call that a wound of war. Okay, give it full throttle. Just do it. Oh. No, that's... Yeah, just do it. You'll be fine. Yes. Good job. Good job, camera crew. Oh, I turned around. Hey, look. Oh, see? Okay. All right. All right. I think I think we're going to we're gonna let you out of this pretty quick. Oh, no. Oh, don't no. go in the tall grass. Now, hold the reverse. Show the people. There's your reverse, obviously. If you've ever driven a car, you would know that. Hey, they're going to think I've never driven a car. <laughs> a radio-controlled car. I've not been in very many car accidents. Hey, you know how we're like down at the end of the driveway here? Yeah, we could walk that way. Yeah, we can is. do that. That's true. We could. Cool. So camera crew, what are your final thoughts on this this well, toy? I like cars. And when I, think I say fun, toy, even I though mean, I can't drive them. Hobby grade. Hobby, hobby grade. Hobby grade. Um, adult. This is pastime. What? Adult pastime. <laughs> Jeez. I'm pretty sure that's not what this is. <laughs> well, for some adults. <sighs> Wait, I don't want to hit the house. <laughs> you're within like 10 <laughs> feet of the house and you're worried about hitting it? You oh can just my watch goodness. Watch me drive, right? Okay, just just do a donut. Just just stick all the way, turn that all the way. Oh, jeez, don't. What's wrong with that? Just do one donut. You can do it. I don't want to do a donut. Just crank. Eat donuts. Just turn this all the way to one side or the other. It doesn't matter. Now give it full throttle. That was not a donut. Well, you got to like work with it a little bit. You got to kind of pulse it. Like that? Know? Yeah. Donut. Well, that was a backward donut. It's like the cheating it's donut. Oh. It's the cheating donut of the donut world. All right. Here. <laughs> Hold on. I can't handle it can anymore. Can I run into you? It says you're into me. No. You can drive into my foot if no. you want. It's cool. That's fine. I think we should let the kid drive it. He'll love it. It's going to be awesome. Before we kill the battery. All right, you should uh, you should trade me for a minute. Yes. Okay, so guys, to do a donut, give it <laughs> throttle, and then you have to brake, or you can get the tires wet, and we probably have enough dew to do a donut right now. But I'm telling you, with four-wheel drive, it is hard to get a donut going. That's what was wrong. So you didn't say anything about braking or getting the tires wet. Well, let's go onto the let's go onto the slick concrete here too. See, I just have too much grip with the four-wheel drive, which is a good thing, by the way. Okay, so on, on smooth concrete, 
That's a donut. I did that backwards. Except you weren't on smooth concrete though. So that would make mine even better. I liken this to me flying helicopters. I can get the job done, but it's not anything too exciting. <laughs> I haven't crashed this one too bad. I mean, I did crash off of a cliff intentionally twice. And by the way, don't even ask me the drive times with those batteries because these batteries are garbage. Yeah, and the real one wasn't charged all the way. So if I had a smart pack in this, I bet we'd get 15% better performance and we would get like 50 times as much life. I'm just amazed how well it performs in the tall grass. Yeah. I mean, that's usually, we have that car that we've been driving around, which is pretty awesome as well. And it'll go probably 25% faster than this. Really? Yeah. Well, it's smaller too, so it's yeah. even more unwieldy. Yeah, it is. But this thing is so fun because it's so low consequence when you screw up. And that's kind of half the battle is when you're, when you're driving these things, it's just so much fun when you don't have to worry about, you know, oh, I flipped it over again or. Crashing I, into a power pole or something. That's never happened on camera. Not to you. Exactly. I got stuck in the grass. It's pretty this tall must, right there. This is pretty tall. It's like taller than the vehicle. There we go. Hey, you need some closing thoughts. What? You need some closing thoughts. So in closing guys, this is a really cool car. And bang for the buck. Yeah, we need to go find that little thing. We need That's to hilarious. go, we need to That's go hilarious. find that down in the ditch. Could you do that tomorrow while I'm at work? Mm, no. <laughs> uh, yes, get one, it's yeah. awesome. I don't even know what it's called, I don't care. I'm gonna put it in the description. If you just wanna know what it's called, follow the link. just follow the link and buy one, and then you'll know what it's called when you get the invoice from China. Yeah. Because it's pretty awesome. Are you blinded yet? No, but they're cool. It is cool. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Come back for more, we got more airplane stuff, I promise, right around the corner.